Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and this is the end game assessment uh, based on what um, where I came from from level 50 to level 70. So basically, the end game period is going to be 50, level 50 to 70. So that is how we have assessed because of certain contents locked behind certain level milestones. So again. How long did I, uh, you know, take to get here? It was um, three weeks. I started uh, level 50 July 24th and uh, probably three weeks to four weeks. Um, it really depends, guys. It, it, this is too subjective depending on if you want to spend uh, your Digicash for this game. So, again, Digicash is actually used for refreshes. There is a Baldur balder thingy that we have for refreshes but once that balder thingy is going to be consumed then you'll have to be uh you'll have to use digicash for you to refresh so again i think the fastest would be three weeks or even two weeks depending on how you spend probably if you're not spending it would take you around uh what four weeks five weeks so again, that is a situation uh, whether um, it, you're you're gonna you know you're gonna be spending DigiCash or not. Is it worth it spending DigiCash? Um, we'll go through the the you know the other details first before I answer that question. So um, again, uh, we need to do some preparations while you're leveling up from 50 to 70. Uh, one of them is actually strengthening your characters. Strengthening by leveling up, strengthening by, you know, um, getting them better weapons, uh, leveling up weapons, logistics, manifestation, Euronic. So this is what I mean because, again, every day you're going to be farming, every day you're going to be investing a lot in these characters and building them up depending on who you are using and who you are per, who you know who is your preference basically in terms of your core team your secondary team and probably build up to like me right now i have a core team of eight so all of almost all of the six stars or the orange tier i have except for marion swift then i have a series and yao as both my kind of my you know to fill that gap that i need for my roster so again strengthen your characters level them up establish your core um if you don't have that many resources please do limit your core to probably six do not go beyond uh, six because again resources are everything in leveling up your characters or making them stronger okay so Again, I'm just going to break down. So for your weapons, um, you can tweak your weapons. You can train them, modify. Parts is very important because you'll be unlocking a couple of parts along the way as you unlock content, as you level up some of the weapons that you have. For your logistics, guys, I um, just want to give you guys some tips here. Uh, if you are not certain of, his, of a character that you want to go to 15, level 12 is actually decent because it takes your max hp attack and defense to a maximum of 20 percent once you reach 15 you'll be unlocking the third talent stat so this is also random you'll have to change this eventually um using this currency here so this one is uh, the revision application is going to be the one that you can change that one this is available in the regular store as well i just want to point out that it's available in the event store so that you could probably prioritize farming it there so again take your logistics to level 12 for those of your core for those that you really 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 want to bring as your main operatives like for me my main for my my account is go is is uh, wild hunt then definitely i am you know slowly uh, getting her what they call this her um logistics to level 15. so again depending on your preference is 
12 from 13 to 15 in terms of leveling up your logistics. Okay, so, and also guys, don't forget to continue farming for better ones because you'll be farming them for the best uh, first two stats. Then the third stat is customizable depending on how much material you have. So again, continue to farm for the best logistics applicable to your operatives or your characters okay manifestation guys are a bonus um to grow really depends on how much you have if you're rolling uh frequently and if you're getting copies and if you're getting shards as well so manifestation will be your bonus for your neuronics while you're in the journey from from uh level 50 to 70 make sure that you level up um at least four at least four neuronics so four neuronics for those who again who you want to bring as your main characters try to open up um what is important if they have an important skill or neuronic at five then you can actually open it as well so again these are just the preparations from 50 to 70 what you're gonna do what you're gonna be farming um best to farm it's gonna go over operations the ones that are best to farm is definitely going to be um logistics you're gonna be farming logistics um because you want to farm here because you'll be getting um command records here for your adjutant to level up as well so you might want to farm in your operations so aside from logistics you might also want to farm these if you still lack neuronics these are a good um you know good way to farm as well to get to level up your adjutant um the least that you will be farming will be this one these for your for your gun is this these are abundant based on my experience the weapon ascension materials is also good to farm as well um the operative experience materials not so much um i feel that you can buy this in small increments you can farm these anyway um through the dailies and for the the credit or the star buck star buck did i say it right the star silver buck not star buck the silver buck um you can actually farm it there um, if you want to get experience as well, but I found that this is uh, this one is actually a a a increased amount already, so thirty five thousand. This one is also better if you just want to get uh, a bargain. You can actually convert this starts at ten or twenty, then convert it to silver buck, not star buck. <laughs> okay, so those are the you know the the best ways to farm in order to hit two birds with one stone so you get to get the the resource that you need plus you get to level up your um your adjutant here so also guys uh take a look at your tasks these are some of these are harder to accomplish like for example for levels uh, uh i think for level 60 i don't know to, to me to reach level 70 Two operatives trust level to 30 was actually the the bottleneck so this was very very um just be just be what i'm saying is just uh be mindful of this so that you could unlock some of the materials here some of them you'll be using as well but after 70 you can actually take your time and moving up to the last two um contents that you need to claim so once you're at 70 you only have two phases left which is 12 and 13 okay so that was a mouthful um so now that we're here okay you might be asking me the question is um what happens next what happens next when you reach 70 okay so i'll show you guys um i'm not saying it now but I'm, i'll show you guys my assessment in terms of the, of the remaining content for the game once you reach 70. Okay, so your base um, doesn't really unlock anything. So level 3 is still unavailable at level 70. So it doesn't unlock at level 70. So this content has, has been quite 
boring recently. Uh, it was exciting when once we started because we expected more content to be unveiled in the next couple of weeks um, right after launch. But definitely, this content has been boring. It doesn't have anything to unlock once you reach 70. So let's get out of here. And also, guys, um, as of now, um, the only thing that you can grind once you reach 70... So first is go through chapter 10. This is normal mode. Then after that, you can actually grind hard mode, which opens up little by little. So again, these are the remaining content that you need to, um, to do. And also, guys, um, let's go to your dispatch system. The dispatch system... Um, the higher the you know the higher level that you are right now, let's say I'm at 70, really helps you in clearing and ranking up in these contents. So clearing this uh, is gonna be easier. But again, these are just existing, you know, existing content. Hopefully they could add more in neural, you know, neural simulation. Uh, stages would become easier if you again if you if you level up to 70 or your level up your your operatives going to 70 and again that's that's just the you know that's just the upside but again what about the new content so sure we do have limited events here but again what after the limited event what happens next okay so next up is giggling so for giggling um not much um i don't think um, it would really impact your play in terms of higher levels. It will really impact your other, you know, your other companions. If they're at, they're at a lower level and you're at 70, then you join this. Definitely your enemies would be at a higher level as well. So that is the only impact and nothing really, you know, not nothing really to add to um, or to unlock with uh, Gigalink so far. And this this game mode seems very repetitive at this point, so we're already looking for something new, probably in the main game, not just a limited event. So speaking of limited event, um, this one is um, especially for those who are um, who started uh, during launch and have progressed further up to seventy already. This one will be taking too long. Unless if you're starting, you know, starting the game uh, or you started the game recently or you're starting the game now, this is a nice, um, you know, this is nice because it's running for um, uh, 36 days at max. But again, if you are ahead of the curve, we're talking about ahead, being 50 to 70, you're going to be clearing this, guys, in... Uh, short of a week so probably make these events more shorter and probably drop a new event after this one that is my suggestion hopefully they can hear us what i mean the depth so again uh, limited events are very welcome but again they should be short and they should be if 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 uh, this is going to be this was actually at 40 plus days so now it's still at 36 days, which is more than a month. So probably cut this to a month. I think that's sufficient enough. That's 30 days. So again, um, as an end game player or an end game account, um, this is actually, you know, um, this is going to be quick to finish. So again, hopefully they could shorten events and bring out new ones to replace this limited time events okay so my question is i have two questions for you guys one that i want you guys to comment on so um do you agree with me that there is a content gap in the game um i feel that i feel that the content right now is insufficient and players are actually you know clamoring for new ways to farm for energy farm for digicash so i'm sure that there's a content gap 
Okay. Number two, the big question is, has the game reached a dead end? <laughs> it is too early, guys. It hasn't been a month. But so far, we've eaten through a lot of the content. And uh, for those who are, you know, are in the end game and are at 70, we've eaten through a lot of content. And uh, so far, um, the things that are important to the game, they haven't addressed it. Um, I actually watched a video with the Chaotic on the, his suggestions on what the game needs at this point. Um, and I agree with almost all of them, if not all of them. So um, one of them is the energy situation. Um, energy allocation is still low. So we cannot buy energy we need to spend digicash digicash farming is also low um what are the things that i remember from that um video um the the what they call this the weapon banner the 50 50 should be you know should be taken out i agree with him um just leave the 50 50 for for the character banner or they could take it out but removing the 50 50 banner for for the weapon banner is actually a nice way to start so i wouldn't you know pull pull a lot of you know requests but the weapon banner taking out the 50 50 would be a good start so again those are the th simple things that contribute a lot to me feeling that i'm in a dead end already i know i still have to finish um story I still have to finish hard mode. I still have to finish Ming Deng Ritual, the new content I haven't played yet. So, again, what what after that? I could finish all of these in a day. And what happens tomorrow? So I just re rinse and repeat. That's it. So, I think uh, why energy allocation is low is maybe that is the reason why we are not meant to play this game that quick. So we need to take our time in playing this game because once you reach the end game or level 70, the last um, hurdle to unlock uh, story content, then what next? If you rush through the content, then what next? What is it, what is it to you to rush through content? So I would suggest that um, do not rush through the content also, guys, um, refrain at this point. I would advise you to refrain from, spend, uh, from spending your Digicash for energy because um, that is your savings for your pulls. And you are, we, guy, we are rushing towards the end, and yet the end has no benefit. So that is what I, what I mean. I feel that way. Probably you guys feel a different way, but at this point, I feel that way. We're rushing towards the end with nothing to look forward to or little to look forward to. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I'm, I'm, I'm a bit blunt today. But again, once I reached 70 this morning, I kind of thought and was disappointed. So, but, but guys, this is not really going to be the death of this game. Right now, we're just at a dead end, but a dead end, at a dead end, you can turn left or turn right. Or you could come back, retrace your steps, and, you know, probably go through another path. So, with this in mind, I think the devs are still, you know, are preparing for the next phase for the game. Because, again, they want us to grind slow and nothing really to, you know, to, to look at at this point in terms of the end game it's just a regular grinding with a limited event but nothing really to look forward after all of these okay my suggestion is that they put out a roadmap and it would be helpful at least to know and what to expect once you reach the end game because at this point a lot of players i assume are between 50 to 70 and they are just rushing towards the end once they reach the end they will just realize that why did i rush all of these things and i don't know why but there's nothing special in the end so that is it 
those are my thoughts i just want to leave it there um hopefully you guys can comment on on this video so again this is the end game this is how it feels so hopefully guys you take it slow savor each and every day don't rush through the content because i think the energy system is built like that because we are not meant to rush through the end game content creators have to rush to the end game because we are we want to give you guys um some answers on what to expect but again if you are not really a spender do not spend your digital cash for energy probably one refill or two or even one i don't want to talk about it but but again my point is don't rush just play the game at your own pace so again guys i'd appreciate it if you put a you know if you comment down below um again put a like to this video in case you find this insightful uh, and also guys I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to this channel because this really helps me a lot um, especially in creating um, more content related to what you want so again guys thank you for everything take care stay safe this is the warden and I'm out of here